and welcome to the Fall Poncho Crochet Along, hosted by Be Hooked Crochet and sponsored by Shape Just Wool. This crochet along consists of four different options for you to choose from, two neck options and two finishing options, and there will be five video tutorials explaining the process from beginning to end. To participate in this crochet along, you will need to visit www.behookedcrochet.com slash poncho. That's going to give you the list of the supplies as well as the written instructions. In this segment, we will cover neck option two, which is the open neck option for our poncho. To begin our poncho with option number two or neck option number two, we're going to create a slip knot and you want to make sure you leave yourself a long enough tail that we can weave that in later on. And we want to begin by chaining 68. When you've finished your 68 chains, and again, you want to make sure that you have 68, that number is very important for our final stitch count when we're actually working on the body of our poncho. So what I'm doing here is just making sure my chain is all laying flat or laying in one direction. We don't want it to twist as we turn it around and join with the slip stitch to the very first chain that we created just insert your hook into that chain and then we're going to slip stitch this together and that is going to create a circle so we're going to crochet our ponchos in the round so the open neck option of this poncho is pretty straightforward and so this tutorial is just going to cover the opening of the neck and that's what we've done with our chain and we're going to cover round one of the body of the poncho. So if you're looking for the written pattern, it's at BeHookedCrochet.com at our crochet along page, and you can find it under the body. So what we want to do to create round one for the open neck option, so once we have it joined together, we just want to chain five. And this chaining of five is going to count as one double crochet, so three chains for a double crochet, and then two chains for the corner. So we're working on our first point. The next step, we need to make a double crochet into the same space where we joined. And now we want to make another double crochet in the same space and we're going to finish up this corner when we've reached the other side. So for every point or every corner, we're going to have two double crochets, a chain two, and two double crochets. And so what we have here is a chain three, which is counting as a double crochet. We've got our chain two for the point. And we have our two double crochets. And once we get around to the other side, we'll add that last double crochet. Now to continue, we want to make one double crochet into each of the next 16 stitches. You can work these stitches into any part of the chain that you're comfortable with.
Okay, once you have made 16 double crochets, then we're ready to start our second point. And as I mentioned before, we're going to make each point by doing two double crochets. This is all in the same chain, so I'm going to do one double crochet, and then two double crochets, chain two, and then two more double crochets in the same chain. and see we've created a point there so we're starting the square shape. Now what we need to do is repeat that. We're going to make a double crochet into each of the next 16 chains and then we'll create the third point. Once you've made your next 16 chains, we're going to start on our third corner. So again, we just want to make two double crochets, chain two, and two more double crochets, all in the same chain. You want to make sure that you're carefully counting your 16 double crochet in between these points and that's so we make sure that we have an even square and our stitch count will come up correctly once we've reached the other side. So now with that third corner complete you'll make one double crochet into each of the next 16 and just to point things out it gets a little confusing when you're trying to find the next chain to work into. Since we have so many stitches in this one chain it kind of stretches things out but if you lay it out like this, so you've got the point in one hand and, you're, and you have your chain turned the right way, you can easily see the very next V. So that's the next chain that we, you want to work your double crochet into. And again, just each of the next 16 stitches. So that's one. Okay, when you've worked that next set of 16 double crochets, we're ready to begin our third corner. We're going to do that exactly the same. Two double crochets, chain two, and two double crochets are all in that very next chain. Now as you're beginning to see we're forming a square here and we just have one side left. So what we need to do now at this point is make one double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. But it's still a good idea to count because we still want to have 16 double crochets from this point to this point here. Okay, so go ahead and make one double crochet into the next 16 stitches. Okay, once you've worked your last side, your 16th stitch will end up right here. So it looks like you have an extra one. That's why I told you to go ahead and count those stitches, because this chain is actually a part of this chain 5 from the very beginning. And now we need to add another double crochet to finish off this corner. And there's two ways that you can do it. There is the proper way, and there's the neater way. And I choose to go with the neater way. So I'm going to demonstrate both and you can decide whichever one you want. Since we've made our other two double crochets from this gap where we joined the chain together, 
that's one option. You can make your double crochet right into that same space. And you'll get something that looks like this. You still can't really see the join and the chain three is hidden pretty well, which is what we want. But I'm gonna show you the other option that I have done for my poncho and I just like the way it looks a little bit better. So I said there is an extra, or what looks to be an extra chain right here, but it's actually a part of this chain three. That's where you can put your extra double crochet. So it's, it's not extra to the side, but it's extra to this corner. So that's actually what we need to finish off this corner. And so you can see that looks a little bit neater that way. It kind of opens up the braided uh, chain there and turns it so that it looks more like a double crochet. So you can choose whichever method you would like. And from here to finish off round one, we just need to join with a slip stitch. And we're not gonna work in any one of these chains. We're just gonna go around the chain. So just insert your hook directly into that space and slip stitch. So grab the working yarn and pull it through and then through the loop. Oh